Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian Preview. North American wrap <coughs> for uh, Tuesday, June 19th, Asia time. It was a relatively quiet day. We, we had a bit of risk off in Asia last uh, yesterday on your open on some of the trade tensions. And um, if you look at some of the currencies that are affected the most, uh, it would be... <coughs> some of these Asian and emerging market currencies and currencies that have a yield. You know, here's the Australian dollar had a big sell off in the past few days. And we're approaching this really important level here. We've uh, held this old low 74, 10, 15 zone. Um, you know, if you look at things like dollar rand, it's had a big move higher. You know, a couple of day, a couple of pauses, but you, know, you can see how the the up days are much stronger than the down days, and you know this thing is well above the 100 day and the 200 day. Dollar Turkey has been its own little story. I mean, that's still consolidating after their interest rate hikes, interest rate hikes. Um, you know, dollar Brazil um, has come on, come back off its highs. Dollar Argentina was down about 2% today. Here's Dollar Max. It was kind of following uh, kind of following Dollar Arge today. You can see we're, we have some big daily support over the past week. It's kind of right around here. We're right on it, right around this 2050 area. One that we're looking at and we're short is the Euromax. The whole ECB story from last week. You know, surprisingly dovish, and you can see here we tested, maybe took them out briefly in a very quiet New York afternoon, but you can see how important this horizontal is right here. Um, we had some old highs down at uh, 23, just below 2360. You know, we're, we're, we're thinking that uh, you know, it could be the Euro side, it could be the MEX side. Um, some of this NAFTA news seems to be fully priced and, and things like dollar max and you know dollar cad to uh to a lesser extent um we made another new high and pretty much closed uh you know right around where we closed on friday uh the euro pretty listless uh you know since ecb this is typical you have the big move on ecb now you can kind of see how things are just consolidating uh, New Zealand dollar is another one that's got my attention. We did have a doji day here. Um, uh, let me get rid of this Fibo because this is kind of an old one. But <clears throat> we did have a doji day. You can see how it's rolling over. MACDs are kind of rolling over. Uh, we can draw a trend line off the dailies from that low. You know, somewhere in here. It's kind of right around just kind of hanging around it. The market obviously is aware of this, aware of this line. This is concerning for me though. With the, the momentum is starting to shift back down. Yeah, I wouldn't be at all surprised um, if the next leg is lower. And, you know, that could be a combination of trade tensions. Um, you know, back to the Australian dollar, we're, we, you know, we're, we're testing low of the year. This is the 2018 low down here. Really, really big deal. Um, Overall, we like this dollar higher still. Uh, you know, things like euro should remain a sell on rallies, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, even, uh, and I'm not a big golden cross guy, which is a 50 day crossing the 200 day. Um, but we, you know, we are seeing it in, in several different pairs. I don't have the 50 day up here, but uh, we're looking at that er earlier today. Um, you know, it was, it, again, it was a very quiet Monday, summer, World Cup, England got a little lucky and won their first match against Tunisia in the, uh, 90 something minute. They, uh, had a lot of chances, but, uh, I'd say they got a little lucky because again, they had tons of chances and, and really didn't only produced two goals and it took them the entire game to get that second goal um so you know that's got our attention we're watching world cup this week we're trading some currencies we're 
paying close attention to the divergences between the ECB versus Fed uh, interest rate policy for the next uh, through 2019, and it, it it really is in favor of the U.S. and uh, in that case, it's in favor of the dollar. Um, we're starting to think that we might have a little bit more of a risk off summer. And even though we are in the middle of the World Cup, where things quiet down, I think it's very important to pay attention because we could get some interesting moves. And, uh, you know, we're, we're somewhat optimistic for uh, an uptick in volatility going forward. So uh, we've got Bank of England this week, uh, you know, not a, not a ton out there sink your teeth into, but uh, keep it on these commodity currencies and some of the EMs, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. Okay, good luck today, and uh, we'll speak to you tomorrow. All the best. Cheers.